deep in the heart of Central America, in the lakes of Lake Managua and Lake Nicaragua, you will find the most fearsome, the most aggressive, yet the most beautiful cichlids. Join me today as we talk about my favorite cichlid species, the Parachromis. Hi guys, it's Scott from King Queen Cichlids. Thank you so much for returning for a new video. Now today's video is going to be about my favorite cichlid species, the Parachromis. And one of the reasons why we're talking about the Parachromis is because recently I have some new video equipment that's much better quality than what I've used before. And in the last 30 days I've gotten over 400 subscribers. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity for us to discuss and reintroduce everyone to the Parachromis species. Now before we get started, please consider hitting that subscription button, hitting that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video or that Liz and I go on live. And give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video or leave a comment below so I know what I can do to improve your experience at King Queen Cichlids. And the footage you're going to see today, although it may look like it's straight out of Honduras or Nicaragua, actually comes from my fish tanks. I couldn't be prouder of how my fish tanks look and how I have adapted the tanks to look like their natural settings as if they were in Honduras or Nicaragua. So today we'll briefly talk about the breeding, their feeding, their behavior, and what you need to do if you would like to keep something from the Parachromis species. Alright guys, without further ado, let's hit my fish room and let's check out these incredible cichlids. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Alright! The king and queen of the Parachromis species, the Parachromis dovi. Now what you need to know about the Parachromis uh, species is this. There used to be five species, now there's four. There's four because they have decided to pair up and put together the Parachromis freddy along with the Parachromis lazeli. Now personally I've had both and I can tell you and I've talked to a lot of different experts uh, they believe this is a mistake, that there is a difference between the Parachromis freddy and the Parachromis lazeli. However, as of today, that is one species. They have grouped them together. They think they are from the same uh, bloodline, although they may be from different areas in the lake. And they have, they have now called the Parachromis lazeli the Parachromis freddy. Okay? So there's four species the Parachromis uh, dovi, the Parachromis manawins, the Parachromis motowins, and the Parachromis fregersi. Fregostalii, depending on how you say it or who you've heard it from. The Parachromis motowins, or the red tiger moda, one of the few Parachromis species where the female has more color than the male. I'm going to tell you what type of tank that you should keep. If you're going to keep a Parachromis dovi or a Parachromis jaguar, both of those are very large cichlids that are going to get over two feet long, then I would recommend that you keep them in a 125 gallon tank or bigger. Quite honestly, uh, I would only keep a single adult or a single pair in a 125 or up. I keep my fish room, these are species only tanks and I would not recommend putting them with anything else or putting any community fish with them. Quite honestly, I find them absolutely attractive and interesting simply by themselves in their own tank. No need to put any other fish in there. They will captivate you and keep your attention for a long, long time. 
So with the Parachromis and the Jaguar Cichlid, you want at least a 125 gallon tank, six foot long, if not bigger, especially for the Parachromis Dovi, that's going to get up to three feet long. Uh, the Parachromis Moto Winds or the Red Tiger Moto and the Parachromis uh, Frankenstein, I could see you keeping them in a 90 gallon or 75 gallon tank. They're going to probably max out around 15 to 16 inches max uh, at adult size. So. I could see you keeping them in a four foot tank, but I wouldn't keep them in anything less than a 75 or 90 gallon tank. The Parachromis Lazelli or Frederstei, better known as the Golden Cichlid or the Yellow Jacket Cichlid. What you should know is the Parachromis uh, species, all of them, are carnivores. They love to eat fish. That's what they eat in wild. They eat fish. They eat crustaceans. But what you should give them is a good variety of diets, starting with a good cichlid pellet. Uh, I like to use Hikari. I also use the Tetra pellet, which is the alternative to live food. I never feed my cichlids live food. I wouldn't suggest you do it either. There's too much of a risk of introducing parasites into your tanks and feeding them live fish really makes them even more aggressive than they already are. The Parachromis Managuens, better known as the Jaguar Cichlid. Again, these cichlids are not very fussy when it comes to water. They're very hardy. They eat a lot. Uh, they are very personable, highly intelligent. And one of the reasons why I keep them and mainly only keep Parachromis is their breeding behavior and habits. I think they're one of the most interesting cichlids, especially when breeding time comes. Uh, they take really good care of their fry. The Parachromis species will breed one to two times a month, producing thousands and thousands of fry. And in the wild, only 10% of the fry they produce will actually survive. But in the aquarium, you can take advantage of these large batches of fry. The Parachromis species is a very hardy fish and very easy to breed. However, if you have any problems, always try the trick of pouring in cool water when you do a water change to simulate the fall seasons, which will trigger them to spawn. It's an exciting experience. As far as aggression level, Parachromis dovi follow quite, <laughs> quite closely by the Parachromis manawins are two of the most aggressive cichlids you're ever going to find anywhere. The Red Tiger motor, quite honestly, is pretty aggressive as well. I put them just underneath the Parachromis manawins. And then the Parachromis fregosi or lazelli, whichever way you want to say it, uh, I find them to be relatively mild manner compared to most aggressive cichlids in the Parachromis family. Uh, I have put community fish with the Parachromis fredricii, and I think you will too. If you enjoy the Dovi cichlid but you don't want the aggression or the attitude, I would seriously suggest you trying out the Parachromis fredricii. I think you'll enjoy them. The Wolf Cichlid the Jaguar Cichlid, the Red Tiger Cichlid, and the Yellow Jacket Cichlid, all named appropriately because of their aggression level. Check out this Parachromis Dovi and his bad attitude.
Okay, King Queen fans, we just hit the sweet spot, the 10 minute mark of this video. We thank you so much for enjoying this video, for watching this video, for supporting King Queen Cichlids. We hope you guys will return next week. On your way out, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscription button if you're not subscribed to us yet, hit that notification bell. I greatly appreciate it. Now as you step out, I'm going to leave you some footage of my Jaguar cichlids mating, having courtship, and laying eggs. I think you'll enjoy it. Take care guys, and we'll see you Sunday at 8 o'clock live. Have a great Memorial Weekend.